Finding HTML page elements using JavaScript is nothing new, but HTML5 brings something new to the mix. Query Selector and Query Selector All provide a streamlined, efficient way to find and store page objects that can then be identified or modified. So in this video, I'll introduce you to Query Selector and show you how to find HTML objects. So here I've got some text, and it's just plain uh, text, but I've added a class to it, and that class is just going to be called text. So we still need to add some style to that to define what text is. And here I've got a button that'll run a function that we're going to define called do it when we click that button. So let's start by creating the uh, style. I'll go ahead and add a line here in the head section, and we'll create a style sheet. Now we want to use a class, so we're going to use the period. The period defines classes, and then text, and create our braces. Now here we just want to add some style to it, so we'll say font family. We'll make that, uh, say, Calibri, and we'll make the color uh, something like uh, this. And go ahead and save that and refresh the page, and you can see now we've changed our text to... Uh, to reflect what we've done here with the uh, the style sheet. Now what we want to do is create our script now, so I'll go ahead and create a script tag above the uh, style sheet. And remember we want to put type equals text slash JavaScript just to make sure that the browser knows that we're running JavaScript. And here we'll create our function. Now we call the function for the button down here, do it with a capital I, so function do it like that and then create our braces. Now inside this we're going to create a variable. We'll call this result. Because what I want to do here is I want to store the information that we're going to grab uh, in this uh, uh, result variable so we can pass it back to the web page. So result equals document dot query selector. So it looks like this. Query selector and then inside the parentheses, we're going to use quotation marks, and then what we're looking for, in this case, with game, we use a period because we are looking for the class called text, like that. And once we've done that, we're actually going to uh, go ahead and create uh, the results or change the page, get element by ID. And we're going to choose this container called uh, uh, output. Now you see the third uh, container that I created here, the third span container, not only has a class uh, of text, it also has an ID called output. So we're going to use that one using get element by ID and then use the inner HTML method or property to actually uh, change the contents. We're going to use result dot inner HTML. Now what we're doing here, the reason I did result dot inner HTML is we're actually going to say we're going to grab the contents of result, which again remember is going to use query selector to choose dot text. Now query selector is going to select the very first instance that it finds of any object on the page that has the class text. So it's going to grab the contents of that and pass that into the output container, which just so happens to be the third text container that also has a class of text. Sounds a little confusing, but let's take a look and we'll see exactly what it does. Now I'll refresh the page. And what will happen here is, remember, Query Selector is going to grab the very first instance of it that it finds with the text class. In this case, it's that first one that says, this is some text right here. It's going to take that and it's going to use that inner HTML property on the result variable to pass it into that third container. So the span container here should change uh, from this is even more text to this is some text. And you can see there it happened. So if you're trying to find an element on the page, uh, you use Query Selector, if it works for you, to find the very first instance. It only finds the first instance, and it works with anything. So you can use an actual tag like an uh, A or href or things like that to find any element on a web page using that Query Selector feature. It's a great new feature in HTML5, and it adds some new efficiencies to the way that we actually search for and uh, manipulate objects on HTML pages.